Hello there. Welcome to the first of my Christmas specials. And we're starting with a good one. With 10 things you may not have noticed in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This film quickly became a Christmas viewing staple after its release in the US in 1989. And despite not getting a cinema release in the UK, it gained popularity thanks to its repeated showings on TV here. It's a little rough around the edges here and there, but it's got a really strong cast and I think manages to capture a little of the good and bad of Christmas while also being very silly and very funny. So, in no particular order, here's my list of 10 things you may have missed. Number 10. We briefly get a look at Cousin Eddie's shoes when he and Clark are carrying out the fire damaged chair and we can see he still has a passion for the same sort of white patent leather dress shoes that he gifted to Clark in National Lampoon's vacation. Oh, Eddie, you, you shouldn't have. You, you really shouldn't have. Oh, those are great, Dad. Number nine. When Clark goes to see his boss with his Christmas gift, he leaves it with gifts from all the other employees. And we can see they're all exactly the same shape suggesting everyone has got Frank Shirley the same thing. Number eight. When Clark and Eddie are enjoying a glass of eggnog, not only is Clark serving the eggnog in Wally moose-shaped glasses, but due to Eddie's lemon-coloured sweater, you can see he's not in fact wearing a turtleneck, but just a small section of one. Called a dicky, the idea is not to wear clothing over the top that you can see through. But it would appear that that's all he has on underneath his lemon sweat. A good cook. Can I refill your eggnog for you? Get you something to eat? Drive you out to the middle of nowhere? Leave you for dead? Number seven. In the scene where the cops bust in and everyone freezes, if you look carefully, you can see that Ellen has frozen holding on to Clark's crotch. And her hand remains there until they unfreeze. This is Clark Griswold and his family. Welcome to our home. What's left of it? Number six. In the scene where Uncle Lewis's wig comes off, actor William Hickey is actually wearing a bald cap underneath the wig because he still had a full head of hair. Number five. When Alan and Clark are in bed, Clark, having had a disastrous encounter with their Christmas tree, his hands are getting stuck to everything he touches. The reason for this is because in an earlier scene with the tree, he remarks that it has a lot of sap, and the sap is now all over his hands. Looks great. A little full. A lot of sap. Number four. The Griswold's car may not be the Wagon Queen family truckster or the Antarctic Blue Super Sports Wagon with CB, an optional rally fun pack, but Clark still manages to find a car with wood panelling. Although it's harder to see on this car, unlike the pea green of the Wagon Queen family truckster, it's still visible. 3. In the scene where Clark finally gets the lights to work and we see a wide shot of the town getting dimmer as his display drains the town of power, you can see Cousin Eddie's motorhome parked on the driveway, foreshadowing his introduction. Number two. In the scene where Clark and Eddie go shopping for supplies and Eddie fills the cart full of dog food, Eddie has an unusual bulge in his trousers. This is where Randy Quaid had secreted a plastic water bottle. It's not mentioned in the scene and is there purely for the eagle-eyed viewer spying on Cousin Eddie's nethers. And number one. The film shares a few connections with fellow Christmas classic It's a Wonderful Life. Rusty is watching the movie on TV. Clark manages to fix his own wobbly newel post with a chainsaw while George Bailey's own loose newel post has a slightly more poignant purpose. And Frank Capra III was second assistant director on Christmas Vacation, while his grandfather, Frank Capra, directed It's a Wonderful Life. 
I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the 10 things you may have missed in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Please keep on the lookout for other Christmas specials from me. Thank you. Goodbye.